Hello friends, my name is AJ and welcome to my channel. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add custom fonts to your app in Swift on Xcode 11 for iOS development. I will add timestamps and a pinned comment below in case you need to skip to one specific part. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing is in order to install custom fonts in my app, I'm going to actually need those fonts. So one of the best places to get fonts is actually Google Fonts. So that's at uh, fonts.google.com. And uh, they have a collection of so many different font families. As you can see just right here, there are 974 font families. They have featured fonts. They have some pretty cool things. Um, and you can really customize on Google Fonts because most of the stuff on here, I'm pretty sure actually all the stuff on here is free. So if you find a font you like, you can use that font. And there are many different um, nice fonts here. However, the one that I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Leto. Leto font. So this is the one that I want to install into my app. So how do I do that? Well, the first thing I do is I, I press this plus button on Google Fonts and I have my uh, fonts here and I'm just going to, under this customize tab, choose the ones I want to install. So I want to, I want to install the regular Leto and I think also just for the sake of the video, I'll also do bold Leto. So I'll put both of these into my app and I'll show you how to access both of these. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to press this download button right up here. And that's going to download the fonts into my folder right here in this Lado folder. And you can actually see it downloaded all of them. So I actually didn't need to select that. It downloaded all of my fonts right here, as well as this text file talking about how this is font created by this person here and pretty much the license as well. So this is... This kind of talks about Google Fonts rules and whatever. So this is um, important in case you're going to be, um, you know, releasing your app just to review these, make sure everything works before obviously you put your entire app in the font and there's something uh, weird about this. But usually I believe that all of these are an open license. You're able to use these in your app. So these are the fonts that I want to install in my app. And the first thing I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to open my app and I'm going to create a custom or I'm going to create a new Xcode project for this. You can add this to your current project as well. So I'll just call this custom fonts. I'll save that to my desktop. So now the first thing I want to do is I have my fonts right here. So these are all of my fonts and I want to actually add these fonts to my project. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. So under my custom fonts, I'm going to right click and click new group. And I'm actually going to name this group and by clicking the enter key on it, I'm going to name this fonts. So pretty much everything in here are going to be my main font files uh, for my project. You can actually name this whatever you want. I'm just naming it fonts because it's easy to understand and to access your fonts. So now you can install or you can drag and drop the fonts that you want to actually use. So in this case, I'm definitely going to use Lado regular. And I think I'm going to go with um, what I said before and use regular and bold. And remember, when you put this in, you want to make sure this add to targets custom fonts is check marked. Make sure that's check marked there. Click finish. And so now you can see it adds your font into your Xcode project. I'm going to do the same for Lado bold. So these will be the two fonts that I install. And again, check mark this and click finish just like that. So now my fonts are inside of my Xcode project. However, Xcode and the app don't actually know where to access these fonts, right? They're fonts in, they're just fonts inside of this, but they don't know, okay, are these fonts for my app, you know, and how do I configure this is pretty much the main thing now that we need to do. And so to configure this, we want to go to the info.plist file. This is where you're going to actually tell the app what my fonts are, my um, fonts provided by the application, by me, that I can use in my user interface. So how I'm going to do that is under my user uh, plist here, my info.plist, sorry, at the end you'll see that there's this little plus button, just click it, and it should create a new, like a new uh, listing here inside of this information property list. What you're going to do is you're going to type fonts provided by application, it's very important that you use the exact same case 
a capital F lowercase fonts and then just click enter to match the exact capitalization that they do. The info.plist file is extremely picky. You want to make sure that you are matching everything properly. And then what you're going to do is I want to click this drop down arrow and you could see there's an item zero here. So in this item zero is I'm going to put my first font name. And so I want to type in Leto regular, just like that, regular.ttf, pretty much exactly what this is named. In fact, you can um, copy this entire name if you don't trust yourself in typing it and put it right here. And then under this item zero, you're going to click another plus that adds item one. And that is going to be where my second font is going to go, Lato bold. And remember to have the extension .ttf. It's very important to have that. So now I've added two fonts and you can keep going just by clicking plus and clicking plus and keep adding fonts, as many fonts as you want to install. But for right now, these are the main two that I'm going to install in my app. And I've now added them to my info.plist so I can use these fonts later in my app. And so now the next part of this is going to be actually using the fonts that I installed in my project somewhere. And I'm just going to create a, a simple button just to show you a UI label. Actually, actually, I can do both a label and a button. So I'll do label here and then a button just like that. And so I will just open up my assistant editor. Actually, first I'll make this a bit bigger of a label and I will center the text make this a bit of a bigger button and center the text, which is already centered. So just click here and go to the assistant editor so that you're able to right click and drag the label into the code and connect it via a IB outlet. So this is going to be my label. This is going to be my text label right here where I'm going to add my custom font as the text for and then also this button. So I'm going to right click here and just do a text button and these are my two um, user interface objects that I'm going to add my new font to. So I'm going to just close under this and go to my view controller.swift file and to add custom fonts, so adding custom fonts, all I want to do is I'm going to write text label just like that which is a UI label and I'm going to do dot font. And this is of type UI font. So I have um, text label dot font. And then I set this equal to a UI font. And um, open parentheses, and if you arrow down to have name and size, just like that. And now to set the font, I'm simply going to put quotes here for the name and copy the exact name of the font I want. So in this case, I want Lado regular, so I'll do Lado regular. And then I can even choose the size of the font. I want my size to be, let's just say 18, and that is going to be the font size. And I could do the same for the button. The button is just a little bit different. You have to do text button dot, and then here uh, title label to access the label part of the button, and then dot font. So very similar, you have to do dot font, and then equals UI font again with a name and size. This time I will use my other one, little bold, uh, for the sake of using both of the fonts I installed and I'll make this a little bit bigger at size 20. And I um, actually want to make sure and I'm just going to, you see this error here, it says value of optional type must be unwrapped. I'll do that just by adding an exclamation point here as it asked me to do. Now if I go to my main storyboard, one last thing is I want to make sure that my font can actually um, like there's enough room for my font to be big enough. So I'm just going to increase the size of this just like that. And so now if I run my custom fonts app, everything should be installed and the fonts should appear when I run my app. So this is the Xcode 11 simulator and let's see if it worked. And you can see it is now the custom font. This one is bold right here, and this one is the Lado font. Now it's a little bit, um, because the font itself is not too different, but if you compare it, uh, this is definitely the Lado font. 
So that is how to install custom fonts into your iOS app. All of the code in this video will be on my GitHub page in the description below. Please like and subscribe for more content and thanks for watching.